Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Chanel Rouge Allure Full 2022 Lipstick. I did a poll and asked you guys if you wanted a video and you all said, well, most of you guys said yes. So I thought I would just do them ASAP. So I'm just going to be testing out two shades today. So I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. I'm trying out a new location. I'm in a new pad. And yeah, I'm gonna see if it's any, I think this one's okay. I'm not sure about the bathroom yet. This is a bit out of the way and plug free. So I think this might be good for now. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you fancy a bathroom vibe or not. There are eight new shades and I went to the store and swatched them all in store. So you can see that in this week's vlog, which is gonna be vlog 60. They are really nice. They're very nudey. They've got kind of a brownness to them. Lots of pink nudes as well, but lots of nice brown nudes and also some richer browns as well. So really nice variation of shades for all skin tones. I'm gonna read you guys the blurb very quickly and then I'm gonna get into a demo these are 35 pounds and 45 us dollars like i said there are eight shades well there are eight shades at peter jones and online there are 20 shades but i don't think they're all new shades so i'm just going to say there are eight shades it says a vibrant and luminous lipstick an ultra fine melt away and second skin texture a palette of intense shades a bold and daring style um, the result is deep radiant and satiny makeup perfect wear from the very first stroke so Sounds like it's gonna be really nice and hydrating, really nourishing, very good for the lips, very caring, very exciting, and rich in pigment. So I'm gonna show you guys some swatches on, and then I'm gonna get into a demo. So guys, those are the swatches on. I actually really like both shades and they do look a bit more similar than I remember them being in the store. So the first one was 209. That shade is a bit more bricky, a bit more of a brownie nude. And then the shade 199 is a bit more of a mauvey nude. It's actually pretty much an identical shade to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense lipstick. If you do have those that I think you probably don't need this one, it's pretty much the same. Or if you like the look of that, then this one is a really good option. The 209 actually looks very similar to the Lisa Eldridge Meet Me in Berlin. But that one is, the Meet Me in Berlin is a bit lighter, also a bit sheerer. The Chanel is a bit more pigmented, a bit richer. So they do look both really nice. They're both quite glossy. I thought it would be closer to the Pat McGrath but it's actually nothing like it. the Pat McGrath is very light in comparison which I just don't remember it being like that at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these on in terms of the packaging this is definitely my favorite type of Chanel packaging I love the little push press click up thing very cute very chic very nice very Chanel first shade I'm going to try on is the shade 209 the one I swatched first the one that's a bit more brown I'll try it on with no lip liner and then I'll try it on with some lip liner on so this is 209. This 
this is really comfortable to wear it feels really nice on i think it looks a bit like it needs a lip liner on it so i will pop a bit of lip liner on on the top lip it doesn't look completely even it looks a bit like i can see a bit through my lips i'm used to a more of a lisa aldridge pigmentation where i can't see as much through but the colour is nice, I think it will work well with lip liner. So I'm going to take this off now and put some Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense lip liner on. I do like how creamy these are, they feel really nice on the lips. That was the shade 209, now I'm going to try on the shade 199 without lip liner on and then I'm going to pop some lip liner on. That is the shade 109 on its own. I feel like it looks a bit more, it feels a bit more fresh closer up. It looks a bit more juicy and luscious closer up. I think from far away, it looks pretty much the same and probably needs a lip liner again, but it feels really creamy on, really nice, hydrating on the lips and cute. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this off, put on a lip liner. Those are the brand new Chanel Rouge Allure Autumn Winter 2022, Fall 2022 lipsticks. They are both really, really nice shades and I definitely can see myself wearing them. They're not blowing me away, but they are really nice hues. I think I might still prefer Lisa Eldridge Meet Me in Berlin as just a, a standalone shade, but I think they all are pretty much the same with a lip liner, especially in the way I apply my lip liners, but they are nice. They're creamy, really cool shades, very nude, very neutral, all skin tone friendly, which I really like from Chanel we always have to celebrate when Chanel actually is conscious of all skin tones so I'm happy about that I don't think they're necessarily anything better than my Charlotte Tilbury or my Lisa Eldridge but they're equally as good and the shade range is equally as good so I'm really happy about the shade range it's actually equally as good if not better so really happy about the shade range let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys will you be buying anything will you be trying anything do you have anything let me know anyway guys if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the